As the Caldor fire raged, it forced thousands of people, tens of thousands of people out of their homes and into evacuation centers, tents, hotels. In some cases, they had to sleep in their cars. Now with the fire showing some signs of slowing down, many are wondering when they might be able to return home. Yeah, Crown Force Teresa Stasio talked with the mayor of South Lake Tahoe to get some answers for those anxiously waiting for word on what's next. We are the luckiest community in the world. South Lake Tahoe Mayor Tamara Wallace reflecting on the week and on this. The Caldor fire is still burning, yet there is some optimism at the end of the week, a far cry from what happened Monday when mass evacuation orders rang out. I, I want to temper myself because I know that so many people lost their homes on Echo Summit and through the Strawberry area and the town of Grizzly Flats. My heart just breaks for them. But, you know, on the other hand, too, my, my heart just is soaring for the people of Myers and Christmas Valley and, and South Lake Tahoe because it could have been so bad. The mayor says that she sympathizes with those now wanting the next step to return home. She has moved twice with her family and just today forced to pack up and her special needs son faced a crisis. He had a um, incident where we had the entire Trekkie Fire Department and ambulance company there at the skateboard park there because he um, he has some medical issues. Um, so it it has been an incredible um, stressful day for my family. I can't even imagine what other families are going through. The bottom line, she says, although she wants to go home, she says it's just not safe yet. We do still have active fire in the basin. Uh, so far, so good. Um, I know that the air quality has improved greatly today, but who knows? Uh, yesterday, it was in the 700s. That is just not healthy. She says she's in constant contact with Cal Fire, who will make the ultimate call for everyone to return, adding... El Dorado County Code Red system, which is our reverse 911 system, people... Uh, that are subscribed to that will get updates and will get notified the minute they're allowed back in their homes. Teresa Estacio, Crown 4 News. Historically dry.